All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming tonight. Uh, my name is Kevin Bruni. I'm the athletic director here at Grand Rapids Christian Middle School. And uh, I'm excited to uh, talk to you a little bit about our middle school golf program, which is a little different than a lot of our programs. So I appreciate you being here um, to hear a little bit about that and know what to expect. Um, if you don't mind, I would, I'd would love to have a start with a word of prayer. Uh, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the chance to, uh, to be in this meeting tonight talking about your school, your kids, your families. And uh, we're just thankful that you brought all these people together. Uh, hopefully we can put you on display this year in the way that we learn about the game of golf and the way that we play. Uh, help our, our coaches uh, that they uh, may have a special measure of grace and patience for our students. Uh, help the kids to be good listeners and learners and help our parents to, to be able to work alongside our coaches well. Uh, during this month of golf. And we're just so excited for the opportunity to do that. And we put you on display and all that we do in your name, we pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Um, I uh, I want you to know that um, we are going to try to get you out of here in a very timely fashion, but we do want to cover a handful of things that are typically frequently asked questions. Um, so first, um, just a, a quick plug. If you're not part of like the Eagle Sport Report, I want to encourage you to be part of the Eagle Sport Report as a middle school family so you know what's happening in the high school programs and the life of our school. Uh, kind of the life of all of our school kind of bleeds down from the high school. So um, Eagle Sport Report, uh, Carolyn Grundyke, uh, C. Grundyke at grcs.org. Make sure that you get signed up for that. Um, that's, a, that's a great thing to be a part of, just so that you know what's happening in our school. Um, second, the philosophy of our middle school golf program, we want kids to learn the game of golf. We want you to be kind of serious about it. Like we want you to take it serious. We don't want to be a babysitter for people, but we want to do drills. We want to, um, we want to learn the game, learn the skills. We want to play on the course, teach kids how to, you know, play in the right order. Um, the rules of golf, the etiquette of golf, uh, teach all of those things through our program as a way to introduce them to it. The goal then would be that you guys help them continue to feed that desire to maybe play and encourage them to keep playing in different avenues. Um, and so, uh, we're we're excited for our opportunity to do that. We've got some great people helping us this year. Um, and that's going to start next week on Tuesday, um, where uh, the, the players are going to meet up with the coaches um, and they'll get their first chance to do what we call team formation in a lot of sports. But in golf, we're really trying to figure out a couple of things. One, are they in the advanced group, meaning they've got a lot of golf experience and they kind of know how to do things or the intermediate group where they're a little bit more of like beginners, a uh, wide range of people in the intermediate group. Um, and then we also have a group for, uh, for our girls. And if any of the girls want to play in one of those other groups, they certainly can. But typically we've found that the girls like to stay with the girls coach and stay together as a group of eight to 12 girls as they play golf and learn golf together. Uh, but certainly there is no barrier there. And if a girl would like to play in one of the advanced or intermediate groups, and she can fit into that category. Well, uh, that's great too. So, um, those are kind of our three things next week. We'll kind of sort out who's going to be in what division. And so on, uh, I believe it's on um, on Tuesday, the five, six boys and the girls will come to Indian Trails and they'll go through a series of, of drills and skills to kind of see, you know, how they play. And then the seven, eight boys will come in on Thursday and they'll, and they'll play. And after that, the coaches will separate into those three groups. And then you'll start to have a designated coach that kind of talks to you. Once you're in one of those three groups, you'll have a head coach that will email you each week, just like all our other sports. And they'll tell you what to expect for that coming week about tea times and all the other stuff. So they'll be, they'll be on top of that for you. So you'll have a dedicated coach after next week. Um, transporting to practice. Um, I wanted to show you, I think I have this up on here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. So I wanted to show you quick the uh the map of of kind of indian trails here and so this is this is kalamazoo avenue right here and this is 28th street over here um, in the parking lot you can see there's a little practice screen down here and then there's two practice screens in a range over here three practice screens in a range so typically what we're going to do is we're going to have the boys meet up here this is a hill by this tree the boys will meet up here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Give me a thumbs up if you can see my cursor there. The boys will always meet here, whether you're in the intermediate or advanced or the five, six, seven, eight, whenever you're coming, boys meet up here. Girls will meet right here in this little opening right here. The first T is an organization, a national organization that also meets. They meet down here by this big tree. So we don't want to get in their business. We want to work with them. 
uh, not try to plow them over. So that's kind of where we'll meet. And when you start playing out on the course, when it's your day to start playing on the course, you'll meet kind of up here um, by the tee boxes. So you'll meet up here on those days. So if you're a, if, if your group is meeting to play that day, you'll meet up here. Okay. Um, so does anybody have a question while we're looking at this map? Does anybody have a question that they want to ask? Just unmute yourself and ask it. If you're going to stay, you can park right in the parking lot or right along the edge and you can help us with the, uh, with the things that we're going to do or when you're walking with a group, that's great too. So, um, but yeah, just find a place to park in here and uh, that's where we'll meet. So I wanted to show that. Second, uh, this is like the schedule. Now, I don't want people to get worried about this. There's a lot on here. So let's just look at the girls section to start. So once the girls are in the girls group, so this is an easy one to look at, okay? But on 9-12, so the first day is obviously Tuesday for the girls on the 5th. And then on the, on the 12th, they'll go to the range from 6 to 7.30. On the 14th, they'll play. Their tee times are 6.02 and 6.10 on those days. Um, and then on the 19th, so you can see your coach will remind you of this schedule, okay? If you, once you're placed in the advanced group, uh, Coach Ben Stehauer will remind you about this. And then if you're in the beginner intermediate group, your coach will remind you about this schedule. So this paper will not be passed to each person. I just want to give you an example of like each day during the week, you're either playing a couple holes or you're working on some drills with our players and um, and our coaches. OK, so that's kind of the way the schedule works. It's a short season. Um, and uh, so that's that's kind of the basics of, of how it works. Weather issues. Um, if we have some issues with weather. Um, we will uh, we will have the coaches email you about that. It is without fail that in September we get a crazy thunderstorm or something that's going to cancel us. And so I'm sure that will happen at some point. And your coach will email you about that by five o'clock. Yes. Practices are always six to seven thirty. So by five o'clock, your coach will always give you the heads up on what's going to happen that night. OK, that's how you can expect weather issues as far as our tournament. We have this one tournament here on the 30th of September from at about 3.30 tea times. And the coaches will talk to everybody about that, but that's kind of like our end of year tournament. We don't have any teams to play. Nobody has a middle school golf team except us. So we just play like an inner squad tournament uh, as a way to get out on the course and play nine holes together at least one time. Um, I also want to show you this note here that um, students can play at Indian Trails um, for a, uh, a reduced rate. Now, I think that fee may be a little different now. Um, I think the fees have gone up. Uh, this was like from two years ago, this, this rate. So the fees I think have gone up just a little bit, but it's still very, very affordable to play golf at Indian trails with your child. If you want to go there and play, uh, in between or on a weekend or something like that, feel free to feel free to do that at Indian trails. They would love to have you there. Um, other things, coaches, um, I'm going to get off of this screen a minute here. So our coaches this year are, um, we have three lead coaches that are going to help us. Um, I'm really excited about them. They all have golf experience. They all have kids that, that play or, or our coaches or something like that already. So we have a great staff that's going to be our lead coaches. Uh, and here's some just tips for you. Um, help them out. Right. We have a lot of kids that are weaponized. They have metal <laughs> clubs. They're swinging them. Right. In a little bit, you're going to get an information about how to sign up to volunteer in our sign up for this thing. I said we need every parent to volunteer at least one time. And that is 100 percent true. We need extra adults helping us uh, keep kids safe. You don't have to be an expert in teaching the game of golf to help keep kids safe. OK. Uh, and so we need you to, um, to to sign up one to two to three times to help us keep kids safe at a station or to help walk with a group. Um, and that does take a little bit of golf knowledge because we would ask that you know, like who's supposed to play first and how to mark your ball and things like that. So um, when you're walking with a group, we do need volunteers for that too. Uh, but our lead coaches are um, Ben Stehauer. He's going to be the advanced group coach. Um, Ben's son is in seventh grade, I believe. And uh, so Ben's going to do a great job with that group. Uh, ben is not a professional golfer. 
Um, so, you know, give him a break, but he's a, he's a, he is a great golfer. He knows the game. He's going to do a great job keeping our kids organized and has a lot to teach the kids. So we're really excited. Chip Kleinexel, also not a pro golfer. Uh, Jared Koistra, they're going to work with the intermediate group. Uh, and, and, and Jared may work with both groups, advanced and uh, intermediate. And so uh, they're going to help us out with that group. Uh, and Graham uh, is the general manager, I believe, at Indian Trails. I'm not sure of his exact title. He says he works there, but I never see him there whenever I go. But apparently he does work there. Um, but but Graham is one of our JV coaches for girls golf. And um, he's going to coach the girls team along with Jessica Murray. Um, and and uh, Jessica has a daughter who plays in our golf program, too. So we're really excited about our staff. You're going to get to meet them uh, once uh, the first, you know, if you go to the first week, you'll get to meet them. Um, but certainly uh, after that, you will uh, you'll get a chance to interact with them a little bit more. Um, the last thing I want to talk about before I introduce the coaches is behavior. Um, we have had to address students in the past that are not listening to our coaches. They're swinging golf clubs inappropriately. Um, we're trying to keep kids safe and they're, they're, they're not doing it. Um, that is nothing for us to kind of just brush off. When kids have clubs and they're swinging full speed, they can really injure people. And so we will talk to your child, but don't be surprised if you get an email, if your child is having an incident like that, we will say that we need this to be fixed right away or your child can't come back. We have to look out for the safety of the group. Uh, and that is the most important thing. So please talk to your child about being careful, number one. Uh, and number two, please support us as we try to keep kids safe, right? And as a parent, if you're volunteering and somebody is blowing you off and not listening to you or something like that, we need to know that because we need to have a conversation. Golf is a game of respect and honor and responsibility and integrity. And that's something we need to teach kids right away. Uh, so please make sure that you're helping us teach that very important part of golf, uh, which is the behavior, the integrity, the honor of it, um, and the listening and, and the respect. Uh, so please, uh, you know, work, talk to your child about that as they go to their first day of golf to be a good listener and, and being careful of other people. Um, with that, that kind of covers my main things that I wanted to talk about. Um, does anybody, uh, I first want to introduce, is Ben Stayhauer in here? Ben, uh, unmute yourself. Tell them a little bit yep. about yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, so Ben Stayhauer, as Kevin mentioned, my son is Charlie. Um, I have four kids. Uh, Charlie's the oldest of four, but they all enjoy golf. This will be my first year coaching golf. As Kevin said, I'm not a pro golfer. I didn't really grow up golfing. I've just taken it up kind of over the last several years, but um, looking forward to it. I think, you know, main objectives, as Kevin said, is to be safe. Um, and also just make it fun. Golf can be a frustrating game. So um, we're going to really try to, you know, have kids be in a group that is to their, their level of, of learning and keep it fun. Um, yeah, and just for us to have a good time. And I think if kids come away in having fun and encouraged by the game of golf and wanting to come back and wanting to keep playing, then that's, that's kind of the goal that we've achieved what we've set out to do. Yeah, thank you, Ben. We, we appreciate that. Yeah. Um, looking forward to to Ben leading that group. Um, I think I saw Chip in here too. Chip, are you able to go on the video or not? Uh, you're muted. Hey, how are you? Uh, yeah. Chip Kleinexel, nice to see you all. Um, similar to Ben, I have four kids. My son, Will, is in middle school. He's in sixth grade. Uh, he's the oldest of our four. Uh, the three are at Iroquois. Um, as Ben said, also not a pro golfer. Uh, I play a lot. My wife would say I'm addicted. Um, and uh, my kids love it. And so my son, Will, is he plays as much as we can. So I think we'll have, we'll have a really good time. Yep. And again, the, the main goal that these guys are trying to do is um, they're trying to teach basic skills, basic fundamentals. I'm the varsity golf coach at Grand Rapids Christian as well. I am not a professional golfer either. Uh, you don't have to be a professional golfer to teach the game well, um, but our players will be out there with your with your kids too. They volunteer. This is part of our service to the community is for our varsity golfers to volunteer and um, and help as well. So they're going to be teaching drills as well. And so uh, there's a lot of knowledge about the skill development that your child will get. Will they become a great golfer in this these three weeks, three four weeks? 
They won't, but they'll learn a lot of tools that will help them have an opportunity to become better if they're willing to latch onto it. And that's really the goal. Golf is a, a game that takes time. And uh, we hope that um, we can we can inspire them to to do that. Uh, and, and our and our final head coach tonight, Graham Rayburn. I think Graham is here. Uh, he's again not at Indian Trails, which is normal, uh, even though he does say that he works there. But go ahead, Graham. Tell us about yourself. Uh, thanks for letting us work at Indian Trails. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we're happy to do it, Kevin. The reason I'm not there is because I'm doing work for you once again. So, uh, you know, my volunteer hours cut into my cut into my work hours. Uh, you know, maybe my uh, supervisor is going to have a word with you at some point. No, in all seriousness, everybody, uh, you know, I've been at Indian Trails now for three and a half, four years. Love it there. Uh, we love having the kids. I'm enjoying working with the uh, with the JV girls team this year. Uh, my daughter, Kate, she's in eighth grade at the middle school. I can't convince her to do team golf. So clearly I'm uh I'm going to fail at, uh, at convincing your daughters this is a fun time, but we'll do our best. <laughs> and we're looking forward to it. We just want them to get better and hopefully not maim one another. So, Yes, and Graham is also looking for people to convince his daughter to play golf. Uh, if you see her or ask who she is, you could talk to her about, hey, I think golf would be great for you. He's really looking for that. And so I'm, I'm working on that as well. So if you guys want to join me in that quest, we'd really like to get her on that girls golf team eventually. So isn't that right, Graham? Yeah, that's 100% right. Uh, all of us parents know our kids are not going to listen to us. So <laughs> we just get those in our community to, uh, to uh, pressure our kids until they do what we want. So uh, they don't know we have the secret network that we use That's in right. order to make sure that they're going to do what we need them to do eventually. It takes a village, and uh, this is one of the villages. So uh, anybody have any questions for me, like through the chat, or I haven't really looked at the chat. Nobody's got anything in the chat. Does anybody have a question for me who's here right now that we didn't cover or that you're wondering about? There's no uniforms. You do have to have your own clubs. Um I think that's about it. Tea times are already set. You don't pay for the tea times. You don't pay for the range when you come to our events. That's all part of the fee that you've already paid. We cover all that. Great one for the group. I think you said when we're hit, when kids are practicing on the range, we'll use range balls. If we're on the putting green or chipping, expectation is that they have their own golf balls, correct? And we can we can find some as well. Yes, that is correct. So if your child has one or two or three golf balls in their bag, they'll need those on the chipping and putting greens. Um, and then they will not hit those balls on the range. We will have specific range balls for that. Thank you, Chip, for, for saying that. I, I did not mention that. Graham, anything from you from Indian Trails that I didn't cover? Uh, no, not a lot. Uh, I, I was going to say you're the fee on the, the fee on the sheet. That is still correct. Uh, particularly oh. if you bring your kid out and play with them, then it is only $5. So, uh, we would encourage you to come out as a parent, play with your child, uh, harass them, uh, distract them, make them learn that golf is not easy. Um, so if you do that and you have a great time, then, it, then it is five bucks. If they just want to come out and play, uh, with some buddies, it will be $10. Um, but we can also work with that. So if you have any questions, um, I think, I think Kevin, will post my phone number somewhere. You guys can call or text me if you have any questions or you need anything. Thank you, Graham. So $5, if you play with your child, if you're just sending them on their own, uh, $10, so try to get a couple extra uh, couple extra rounds in this fall if you can. Um, I think that'd be great. So anybody else have a question? Hey, Kevin, I had uh, October 7th as the date of the tournament. That's been moved to the 30th, it moved sounds like. Moved to the like. 30th, correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep, thank you. Did you mention, I, I may have missed it, I was waiting for a second, that Chip is going to send out an email with a sign-up sheet for volunteers I did mention it a little bit, um, right. but yes, he will send it out. I think you said tonight, Chip, or, or tomorrow. Yeah, I've got one drafted. You'll see one right after this. He's ready to go, and 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 we are very serious about that. We need, if we don't have enough adult leaders, we just can't have your kids doing the same reps. So if we don't have enough adult leaders, then your kids are just going to have to wait in line to do a rep because we need adults there to, to keep people safe. So please sign up. Help us out. There will be someone to help run your station for you. 
We just need you to help us keep kids safe and following instructions. So please don't take that lightly. Find a day or two that you can help us. And Chip will send that out shortly. And he will probably repeatedly ask for more. So bug your friends and say, hey, how come you didn't sign up yet? I can see you didn't sign up yet. Uh, but but ask them to sign up. It's a big deal. Uh, it, may, it's all, it makes the difference between a good experience and a, and a not so good one. So so please help him out with that as he sends that out a couple times over the next few weeks. Okay. If you have any other questions, I sent you a couple of emails already. You can certainly send those to me. And then after that, once we get started, you'll have a dedicated coach. And then that coach will, um, will be your main point of contact after that. So once you're placed on one of those three groups, that coach will email you. And then that will be your main point of contact for questions. And I will be kind of the secondary contact after that. Okay. okay. Hey, before we go, I just want to give Kevin a shout out. I don't know if everyone knows the high school RCB won the state championship last spring. And a week ago, Kevin was named um, State of Michigan Division II Coach of the Year. I saw. So I just wanted to give Kevin a shout out. He's been working really hard, um, doing a great job with the golf program. And we're really excited about just everything that's going on there. So great work. Thank you very much, Ben. Appreciate that. Uh, it, it was an honor. Hey, and, and who knew you could not be a pro golfer and you could still do pretty good. So it was fun. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. I hope you guys can keep enjoying golf as much as we do. And uh, we'll see you out there at Indian Trails the next couple of weeks. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. See you, everybody.